What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday and that means it's time for another episode of What's New for Blue where I inform you of what brand new physical media titles you can expect to see in your local store and also online. So this coming Tuesday, the very first Tuesday of December, is so front loaded with a ton of brand new releases in both television and film. So let's get started with the big new release and that is another Quentin Tarantino title getting its 4k upgrade and that is Pulp Fiction. We just received Reservoir Dogs a couple of weeks ago and now we're getting Pulp Fiction both on 4k slipcover and 4k steelbook but I gotta be honest I'm not a fan of the steelbook. I said this before in a previous video and I'll say it again. It's very basic. It's not appealing to me. It's just not very interesting. I'm not a fan of all the writing all over it, like all the cast members in the film. So I will be bypassing the steelbook and I will be going with the 4K slip. The 4K slip cover looks very sharp to me. It's probably going to be nice and glossy, black and white. Looks like film noir with Uma Thurman on the cover with the red lips, pops. I love that. So I will be going for the 4K slip. Next up on my list, and I'm so excited about this one. I'm grinning from ear to ear. It is Black Christmas on 4K and also adaptation on 4K. Now, when it comes to adaptation, I'm going to bypass this upgrade for right now anyway. I do own the Blu-ray. I still have not watched it yet. So once I watch it, if I feel I need a 4K upgrade, I will in the future. But as of right now, I am good. But when it comes to Black Christmas, that is definitely a day one pickup for me. I am crossing my fingers, cross your fingers for me too, that Black Christmas will be available in my local store this coming Tuesday. It's become one of my favorite slasher films and I have to have it. I am so looking forward to seeing that 4K transfer. So let's move on next to 48 Hours. This is a buddy cop film with Eddie Murphy and Nick Nolte. I haven't seen either one of these. So we have 48 Hours, another 48 Hours, and also The Double Pack. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this, get the two individuals or the double. I would probably most likely save money getting the double pack and also space as well. But as of this moment, it just all depends on what is available in my store because, you know, Best Buy, it could go either way. So if it has the individuals and not the double pack, I'll obviously go with the double pack. And if not, then I'll go with the double. So let's move on to our next titles. Amsterdam on 4K and also Blu-ray. And then we have RIPD on 4K. Now, when it comes to RIPD, I haven't heard the best things about this film. I don't think it did very well at the box office. It's nothing I need right away at this moment. So I can bypass this one. If I am interested in the future, I can always get it on a sale like $5.99 sale, I guess something like that, a drastic sale. Amsterdam on 4K, I'm going to bypass on this one as well because it is coming to streaming the same day on Tuesday onto HBO Max. So I think I'm going to wait on this one. I heard very mixed reviews about Amsterdam from the trailer. I thought it looked pretty good, but then a lot of people were criticizing it. So I think this is going to be a case of I'm going to watch it on streaming. I promise you this. I'm not going to pick it up day one. I'm going to watch it on streaming. I know I say that sometimes and I, and I backtrack, but this time I'm serious. I'm going to watch it on streaming. And if I decide later in the future on a possible sale, if I want to get it, then I will pick it up, but not day one. Let's move on to Clerks 3. Clerks 3 4K Steelbook and also with a Walmart exclusive Blu-ray slipcover. This Steelbook is so amazing looking. I know my eyes are like gleaming for this, but it looks so amazing. It's bright. It's colorful. It grabs your attention. I haven't even seen Clerks 2. I recently picked up Clerks 2 just to have this because Clerks 3 is coming out because I want to grab this steelbook. So I definitely want to grab the steelbook. However, I will say the Blu-ray Walmart exclusive slip, that's pretty tempting as well. I'm not going to do a double dip, but either way, you're winning with Clerks 3. They did a good job with those. All right, let's move on next to some television. We have Star Trek Discovery Season 4, Blu-ray, and also a Steelbook. Now, you know me. 
unless it's really something that I want from TV to have for all time. I'm really not interested. So I'm going to bypass on Star Trek. Plus, I've never seen anything Star Trek in my life. So this I will not be picking up. Next is the Top Gun Superfan Collection 4K Steelbooks and also Shaw Scope Volume 2 on Blu-ray. So Shaw Scope Volume 2, I believe, is a bunch of Asian cinema. Me personally, I am not interested in Asian cinema. That's just, I'm, there's nothing against it. It's just not my, it's just not what I go for. So I will be bypassing that one. And then Top Gun Superfan Collection. So you have both the Top Gun films, Original and Maverick, both 4K steelbooks, but they are completely different artworks. So I guess they're kind of exclusive, I guess, in some way. I'm not really sure why why this is necessary i don't know but they're just doing a nice 4k steelbook collection of both movies so if you're interested i think it's running about 120 dollars for both i could be wrong but i think that's what i saw for the price point moving on next to better call saul season six on blu-ray and also better call saul complete series on blu-ray so if you want just the complete series you've been waiting and you haven't been getting any of them and you wanted to wait for the entire season, then there you go. And if you just need season six, you're going to be all set. You're all set when it comes to Better Call Saul. Speaking of Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, the original, complete series on Blu-ray will also be available. And Creep Show season three on Blu-ray. I'm not interested in either one of these. I've never seen Breaking Bad, but I know if I want to watch it, it's probably available on streaming somewhere. And Creepshow Season 3, don't need, don't need, so I will bypass that one as well. Next up is Medieval on Blu-ray and also South Park Post-COVID on Blu-ray. South Park, yeah, I don't need that one. Medieval, this is a random movie that came out in the theater it left as soon as it came in, probably in one weekend. It was here and then it was gone. It's not even getting a 4K. I think it's just a Blu-ray and I think that speaks for itself about how the movie is. I could be wrong. If you've seen Medieval, let me know down below. I just haven't heard anyone talk about it, good or bad. It's kind of just disappeared and that's really not good. So I don't need that title. Next up is Ip Man 3 on 4K and also The Warriors Steelbook. I don't know what The Warriors is. I've never heard of The Warriors. So possibly when I'm in Best Buy, if I see it, I'll read the back cover and see what it's about. And if, you know, price point is reasonable, I might pick it up. I'm not really sure. And then Ip Man 3, I don't need this one. So I could just move on to something else. Then we have a couple of Arrow titles that will be available, brand new. Nightmare at Noon and also The Leech, both on Blu-ray. When it comes to Arrow titles, I always just wait for a sale. I am backed up with the Arrow stuff, so I'm really not looking to be ordering anything anytime in the future from Arrow, only because I have so much stuff that I got to get caught up on. And then finally, we do have a brand new Criterion. It is Michael... Henneke Trilogy, I forgot to sing it, Criterion, so that will be available on Tuesday. I honestly don't know what that's about at all whatsoever, but I personally will not be picking up any more Criterions until the next sale in July. So now we're getting into those titles that you're going to have to order online or might be available at Walmart on DVD format, and they are... Old Man, Alienoid, and Mad God. There's also Ash Grove, Missing, and Burial. The Ballad of the Sad Cafe, Operation Seawolf, and also Children Shouldn't Play with Dead Things, and that is a 4K. Just want to point that out. And finally ending with Attack of the 50-Foot Woman and the Night of the iguana so those are all the big major titles coming out this coming tuesday so let me know down below what do you plan on targeting don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and i'll see you next time